So we are back with Blender. In this tutorial we will learn about view layers, how to use them, and when to use them. In this scene, we have added 4 monkeys available under mesh option. Let us go to the render view, and let us also go to the camera mode. We need view layers when we want to have different effects on different objects within a single scene. One good example is lighting. If we add a light source into our scene, it affects all the objects equally. If we want selective lighting, let us say we want to have an orange light for these two monkeys on the left, and a separate green light only for the two monkeys on the right, how do we achieve it? In order to have two different light effects, first we need to have two light sources. So let us duplicate or copy paste this light. Then rename the new one as light 2 and the original light as light 1. Perfect. Now press 7 to go to the top view. We have to position the lights appropriately and also set their angles as they are area lights. If you are new to Blender and not very familiar with the editing, you can watch my tutorials for the beginners. The link is in the video description. So, our lights are ready. Let us now change the color of our first light to something in the red. Cool. And let us also change the color of the second light to some shade of green. Now both the lights are visible together. We can hide one light by this little icon. If we hide the second light, we can see only the red. And if we hide the first light, we can see the green light. But if we turn on both the lights together, the effect is not very good. We can see the extreme two monkeys are perfectly in red and green lights, but in the center of the scene the two lights are mixing together. As a result we get a whitish effect. This is not really what we wanted. We need to have the lights affecting only on a set of objects, and not mix together. So we need to group these objects, so that each group has its own light. In Blender, this grouping is done by creating collections. Right now we have one collection and all the objects are within this collection. Let us create a new collection. For that, we need to resize this outliner little bit. Now you can see the button to add a new collection. If you click it, Blender will add a collection named as Collection 2. We need to move our second light to this collection. Also drag and drop Monkey 3 and Monkey 4. Like this. Let us rename the original collection as Collection 1. It should contain Light 1, Monkey 1 and Monkey 2. The camera and the floor are common to both the collections. So they should remain outside the collections. All these collections and objects are currently in one layer which is named as View Layer here. To create another layer, just click on this button and select the new option. Then rename this new layer as View Layer 2. We can see the list of layers from this drop-down. Select the original layer and rename it as View Layer 1. This layer should only contain Collection 1, so deselect Collection 2. We can see only two monkeys with a perfect red light. Likewise in View Layer 2, deselect the first collection. We can see the other two monkeys with their green light. Now let us render these layers and check how the final result comes out. For that, hit F12 or from the Render Menu option, select Render Image. But unfortunately, the result is not good. We can only see the first layer here. The second layer is not at all visible. That is because we have only created two layers, but we did not combine them. In order to combine the two layers into the output, we need to open the compositor by changing this editor type. We can close this section. Select the Use Nodes option. We can see, two nodes are added here by default. One is the composite node, which is the final output. The other node is a render layer. We can see that it is rendering view layer 1. This is the reason why we were getting only this layer in the output. So, we need to add another render layer, and change the view to view layer 2. Now we need to add these two layers together. For that, let us add one mix node here. The output of this node will go to the composite. And we need to connect the output of the two render layers to the input side of this node. Then mix them at 50-50 ratio. Finally hit the F12 key once more to see the output. That looks great. Now we have two sets of objects, with two different lighting effects in the same scene. By using more complex node setup here, we can achieve even better result. But I hope you got the basic concept of layers. Thanks for watching.